and she has beautiful brown hair and big brown eyes and some juicy little cheeks to go with a smile she has on stage. Oh, I eat watermelon and I have four years sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. I like watermelon, but it wet my ears sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Baby grass tastes good to a moo cow's mouth sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. But I like chicken cause I'm from the south sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Brother Will, farewell, Brother Will, farewell, Mr. Gloom be on your way. If you think you're gonna worry, you can stop it in a hurry. Sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Oh, the woodpecker pecks till he gets his fill. Sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. But the woodpecker pays cause it's on his... From Oregonville, Texas, Miss Brianne Sterling. She has a cat named Snowcake that she enjoys playing with. Her ambition is to become a Cinderella one day. She enjoys soccer and dancing and gymnastics. And her favorite food is big bowl of macaroni and cheese. She looked at me like, how do you know that? You're gonna walk with her, you I will. Yeah. And we're, we're not gonna have to pass the fire. No. <laughs> Your wife convinced you, or you you chose my daughter. Whatever. Your daughter? Whatever. How did your daughter find out about this? Uh, I'm not sure. I, well, my daughter's only uh, 15 months old. Oh, uh, most beautiful goes to Aaliyah Aikha. So you like to be a model? Yes. Yes? Like running ways and being in front of people and stuff. That's what we like to do. We like to do all kinds of stuff. Yeah? You like to sing? Dance? Yeah, I like to dance. You like to be an actress when you get older? Uh -huh. Yes. Yes? Being famous is one of the things I would want to do. So what is this with the putting the little girls? Is it pleasure? Is it beauty? What is it? You know, I think it's just a mother's dream, probably, of having the little girl look like a little princess. So you want to be on TV? <laughs> it's like a little doll. Are you gonna model too? Oh, how okay. come? No modeling? You're a scientist. You chose to do this or she chose? She chose. Yes, how did she know? She uh, looked on the internet uh -huh. and found it on the internet. Like By herself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to buy the dress and all the, make, the makeup artist and the hair artist. You go on the internet a lot? Yeah. Ah. Just in talking to friends at work and telling them about Brooke doing this pageant, I had a lot of negative responses, you know, oh, it, it is. This is. This is just what she said, it's like being a princess for the day. For the it's day. Like they, their life like this. they were really very, uh, ooh, is that like the John Bonet Ramsey stuff? And, and I was like, well, it's just... And, and why and, would and they plus, think you would do that? I don't see anything wrong with what John Bonet Ramsey was doing. She was in it, she was in a beauty pageant with talent, she was darling. She did a great right job. I, I, um, it's a shame that that, what happened to her, I'm so sorry, but that it had to affect that, the beauty world, the beauty pageant world. I, I you just, know it's so strange that they still don't know what, who did it. I know, I yeah. know. It's very strange, it's very sad. What, 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 what? With John Benet Ramsey, the little girl. She got was killed. want any hair jewelry. I brought some, I have some for $10 and some for 20 I want to be a singer. A singer? Are you sing? You have a good voice? Try. No, 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 no. no, no. Oh, it seems like I can finally rest my head on something.
something real I like the way that feels Oh, says if you know me better than I ever knew myself I love how you can tell All the pieces, pieces, pieces of me She's not convinced, you want more lipstick? You seem concerned, Anna. <laughs> What's that? She looks so serious. Yes. Being a princess for a day. Yeah. And having a million dollars. What? Too. Say it again. Having, having a million, million dollars. dollars. <laughs> and putting on jewelry. And shopping all us for everything. You go shopping for makeup? Yeah. Sometimes. Just for my birthday, I got like two cases. Shopping is one of our favorite things to do. We looked on the internet and I got signed up for modeling. We just decided to do modeling because I love, me and her love to be in front of the crowd. I was in one class when I did ballet. Now I changed to two classes, which is jazz and hip hop now. Oh, can I see some hip hop? That's hip hop, that's ballet. So how did you get into this uh, page and stuff? Yeah. This is her, the trophies. She just told me she wanted one. She found out there was a big trophy. Big trophy. Everybody always win? <laughs> yeah? You're always a winner. Lipstick or mascara? Uh, lipstick. Yeah? You put it to go to school? Now that you look like Cinderella, how do you feel? Like Cinderella. Are you excited? Yeah. You've got amazing eyes. And for you, this is kind of like an, an expense and a big deal to get through, isn't it? It kind of is. She has a, um, a few places that are in town where we live that um, help sponsor her. Oh, great. So not a lot of it is comes out of our pocket. Lady. Sorry, but just got some older girls in here. They feel yeah, yeah. a little bit uncomfortable since you're in here. Oh, okay. Should I go out? Okay. Okay. Bye. Thank you. All right. Bye. bye. You know, I get nervous for her, but she's just totally calm. She's up on the stage. What do you think about the bad publicity that they, you know that sometimes they have with this? I think sometimes it's unfair, but sometimes it's warranted. I mean, you know, I've heard things that they say on Dr. Phil that people wear hair pieces and get sprayed tans and, you know, I never do any of that. Anna is from Georgetown, Texas, and she has brown hair and blue eyes. She has two dogs named Bingo and Bella. Ladies and gentlemen, is Anna Buchanan from Georgetown, Texas. Six to seven queen is Miss Haley Long. Congratulations. Our Universe Royalty Queen is Miss Kenneborn. Congratulations. Let's give them another round of applause. Thank you. Oh, okay. Oh, what a great dress. Where did you get this? She's done these before. Many, and so she likes them. Her dress is fabulous. Where did you get it? Yeah, don't be like that. Oh, her dad's going to Iraq in two weeks? Uh -huh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, so How, oh my gosh. How's that been uh, for you? Really rough? Yeah. That's, that's the grandfather, I'm the grandmother. Oh. But is she gonna put makeup on? No. You like no. lipstick? Do you think this uh, stimulates pedophile? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what to think of this. Uh, interesting. Hopefully public speaking is our goal, so she'll be comfortable uh, speaking in front of crowds. When Brianna was a baby, she did one of these? Yeah, she did one, um, and 
it was when she was about a year old. And this is kind of like our trial. I told my husband to give it one more try to see how she would do, because um, she can be antsy at times. So she's done okay. Um, she actually has a twin sister, and um, the twin is a little bit more timid. But as we were practicing, I thought she was doing a bit better than Brienne. This thing like with the John Benet stuff, did that turn you off, or you felt like it was just another world? Um, I think that there's just different pageant systems out there, and some are really, really glitzy. I, I don't know if I was turned off. I just think that you have to do what is right for you, and if that's right for some people, then that's okay. If not, the final works for you. Hi. This is an expensive proposition, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. And so, uh, my husband said, I better find a part-time job if I want to, if I want to keep doing this. Say cheese. Hey, put your tongue in your mouth. How did you think this little beauty did today? Pretty good, huh? It's a family tradition. Can you smile? When you add up all the fees, there's so many fees, so I just keep adding up and adding up. Did you like it? Awesome! Awesome, you'd say. What would you, Anna, what, did you, what do you think? It was cool, you dude. Really cool. Really awesome. Would you do it again? Yes, I yeah. am. I am. I am going to win this. I'm going to get the original. You're going to have to do the second one. I'm, no, getting, I'm getting the big star. Are you going to get the big one? Do you think your son enjoyed this? Well, he did enjoy it at first, but um, I think he was just a little tired and it was all just too much for him. But um, there's so many girls here for him to look at. So. <laughs> And you're off to Iraq soon? Yes, in the uh, middle of next month. You want to say anything about how, how it is over there? Uh, not really. Okay. It's, it's kind of rough over there. What is it you enjoy about these contests? You know, as long as she ain't having a good time, and you know, it gives them a chance to build up self-confidence, yeah. you know, at an early age, so. So she's a beauty and her outfit's great. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. I just like being in front of people. I like being on stage. I've done it since I was little. Why are you doing this with the little kids? Why don't you just go with the real love? Because you have to be 18. How's it feel to be a king for a day? Good. What was the most fun part? Eating the candy? You won, won last year. year. Uh, how old are you? Thirteen. How old uh, were you when you started? Uh, seven. Seven? Yeah. Why do you like it so much? Because it's fun and you get to meet new people and... It's good? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You want to do it again? Yes. Yes? And your sisters too? You don't know? No. It's fun to win but... Also, it's fun to lose. Also, to see other people win. Also, how do you feel? First, we're gonna call grandma and grandpa because they're waiting. You'll be, you'll go to the national, yeah. the uh, the next yeah, big one. I think so. And uh, could you see her like being Miss America? I don't know if I can afford it, but yeah. Is it expensive <laughs> to do this? Well, the dress was three hundred. Oh my God! Any message for Italy? Yeah. yeah. Hello, all y'all in Italy. I've been over there visiting when I was stationed in Europe. Oh, you went there? Yeah. So. Uh, Hopefully one day we'll go again. It's, Good. It's which a nice part, place. Which part of Italy were you? We went to um, Venus. It's just, it's such a fun, like, extracurricular, and it's really awesome. So if you have a daughter, you, you make it do this? I will not.
not make her do it. If she wants to and she comes to me and is like, I want to be in a pageant, then yeah, I'll, of course I'll put her in because I know how much fun I had. Did you choose to do it? Or? I chose to do it. I went to my mom and I said, Mom, I want to be in a pageant. What did she say? And she said, she was a little bit hesitant at first. Why? Um, just because of the stories that you've heard. And yeah, what story? <laughs> of course, like John Monet is always an issue, but like. What did you think when it happened? Um, well, I was really young, like I didn't really. That's mom. I know. <laughs> but like, my mom was really hesitant to put me in pageants. Did but... you ever have during this year anything like some people looks at you weird? No, I've never felt like uncomfortable or unsafe in a pageant before. Like I've never felt like someone was watching me or anything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like the dirty old man. Like uh, no. <laughs> I've, yeah, I've never felt unsafe uh, or anything. Do you like all these kids and? Uh... Yeah. 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 I. Uh... I sometimes judge. Uh, oh yeah. Two. I was uh, tabulating today. 